Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So it is still October, the same month as the previous episode, but we are going to be moving on today, a little bit later on. We need to make sure we can get the corn harvested before any rain turns up. We can actually uh, harvest the corn in November, but the forecast is looking a bit bad, so <laughs> we're just going to play it safe. So yeah, anyway, into the combine harvester, let's go over to the store. We need to rent a header, and I've been looking at the different possibilities. We could go for the small one which we used before, which would be fine. But I do want to be adventurous as well. And not only this, I want to try out a bigger header so that when we do this field again, I know exactly which one to go for. So really it's the small one or the next size up, which is quite a bit bigger at six meters. But there are three different brands at the same price. And the John Deere one is, again, the same working with, but it is 400 kilograms lighter. So we might as well go with that. Because yeah, putting a, a massive heavy header on the front of this is, it's not going to be appreciated. <laughs> it might not even be able to run it. Um, but yeah, the, the big ones are three tons. When I say big, I don't really mean big. I just mean big for this machine. Here we are. So let me just take a look here. Yes, I was looking at basically these three. Case, New Holland, and John Deere. All 53,000 pounds, but you can see three tons for these two. And 2.6 tons for the John Deere, but the same working width. So let's rent it at £2,700, which is not cheap. Financially, I should go for the smallest one, because it will always be the best. Because <laughs> uh, the only thing which it will cost more in is time, and I guess a bit of diesel. Although, running a bigger header is going to probably consume more fuel anyway. So actually it's also the best colour match. So that's what we're going for today. Just possibly as a one-off, we'll see. And um, yeah, let's go and get that corn harvested. Then we're going to move on to a new day and hopefully we're going to buy a new tractor but I've kind of been talked out of selling the Veltra here we are at the field so we're going to start straight away we are quite close to this plastic is it a plastic fence? I'm not too sure possibly a wire fence but yeah the main reason for keeping the Veltra possibly is just because it is such a nice tractor and I think I probably would regret selling it it was the money it's always the financial side of things um, but the good news is, I know of where two more collectibles are, roughly. I don't know exactly where they are, but I, I know of the locations, um, the general location. And we can, we can go and pick them up because I've been to these two places before. Well, <laughs> actually, to tell the truth, I've been to one of these places before, but the other one is so close to it, I, I think it qualifies. So we're going, we're going to get them later. If I, if I do successfully find both, it'd be a hundred thousand pounds. And that should be enough to hopefully buy a new tractor without selling the Valtra. But we will see. Anyway, this is working fine. This combine doesn't seem to struggle too much with it. You can see it, we are, we are spinning the wheels a bit. I think the header is going lower uh, than the combine wanted to. But we'll get it done. But that is interesting. Obviously, not a match, but kind of compatible. Anyway, yep, let's just get this done. Then we can return the header, put the corn into storage until January. I think the price is going to be much better in January. At the moment, it's less than a thousand pounds for a thousand litres, which is abysmal. So we have to wait. Yeah, as many of my viewers have said, the price fluctuation map is a bit confusing and potentially inaccurate. Um, but it kind of gives a guide. I have heard though for some of the products, even when it shows it's going to be higher, it doesn't go higher. So I'm not too sure what that's about. But anyway, yeah, we'll um, we'll go by it this time and see if it's higher in January. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. You can't really get much worse than 900 pounds for a thousand liters.
we're almost full. It has yielded very well. So you can probably tell from the time lapse there that I'm struggling to uh, keep it going with the header hitting the ground. But this sort of makes me think the combine which this fits to would be the perfect one to buy whenever it comes up used. I haven't actually seen a combine, I don't think. In fact, yeah, that's really weird. Has there been a single combine in the used machinery sales? I'm pretty sure there hasn't. We got the grape harvester, which was just a miracle. Um, and I've seen, I think I've seen a sugar beet harvester or a potato harvester. But I'm fairly sure there hasn't been a combine harvester. Right, well there is load number one. Yes, if we were to replace this one eventually with either the New Holland or the John Deere, because they both have the same size headers, I think, uh, or actually I guess we could go with the case, although it is more expensive. Yeah, one of these two here, that would be a, a good upgrade. 10,000 litre capacity, whereas this is 8,500. Yeah, I think one of those two. So, I'll finish off. There's not too much left to do. Now this field here is most likely going to be continued on to the next field, the one over there, where we've planted the trees. And same with the vines. We're going to continue those vines down into the next field. Looking at it, I think maybe for this year, this next year, we will just connect this field to that field and then drill the whole lot. And then once the next crop has been harvested, we can then expand the vineyard because we, we need the money to expand and it, it's about £12,000 to put a decent row of vines in J just one row so ideally we need about £100,000 at least okay so we are done apart from this row here I might be lucky to get it I would say this part here isn't too bad but where we get to the fence the uh, I think it's a plastic fence might be a different story. Ooh, <laughs> that's very lucky. Keeps it tidier too if we can actually get all the crop. I shouldn't have put it so close. Okay then, so we finish off with another 2,479 litres. Not bad at all. Put it into storage, then we'll return the header, and then we're going to rest. I'm fairly sure there is no more uh, updates in the uh, used machinery sales page but we will take a look just in case there we go used machines, yep that's exactly the same as before in the previous episode return the header and we're done so I fold the combine up park it over here. Seems to be its new parking area. We do need a few more sheds. Good. And let's go and rest. I'm sure there'll be plenty more eggs in the morning too. Right. What do we have? Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe there's going to be some updates soon. Oh, of course, it's still October. I must have changed it. I've changed it to uh, two days. Uh, that was a few episodes back when I was thinking it might be a good time to do that. But actually, as it turns out, I think one day is still sufficient. So, yes, it is the middle of October now, uh, which is fine, but I'm surprised there were still no updates uh, with this. I, I guess only half a month has passed. Anyway, things have changed. We now have honey, which we didn't have before. They're going to need some water. So, yes, the priority now is to go over to where I believe there are some collectibles so that we can buy a tractor. Now, I know that I get criticised for buying Master Ferguson, so I'm not going to get a Master Ferguson today. We are going to get another one, though. I'm going to probably buy that one there, or that one there. Likely not the 8S. Um, but, yeah, I think I would quite like to have a McCormick as our first new tractor. Probably not that one. <laughs> I 
I think this one here. If we can spec this one to 240 horsepower, that would be 195, 500. The bottom spec of this one is 264 horsepower at 220,000. So for 25,000 pounds less, I'm quite happy to take the horsepower difference. That is absolutely fine. So let's get into the pickup truck, which still has its trailer tipped for some reason. We don't actually need to take the trailer, unless the bakery is offering a good price for eggs, because that is actually on route. Let's take a look at the eggs here. Uh, oh, it is actually. It is, surprisingly, a very good price, so we will take them to the bakery. As I said, it's on route. Kind of, actually. It's, it, it is on route. It's about... 200 yards further so I guess that makes it not en route but you know what I mean <laughs> it's very close and over here we have two and a half pallets so yeah I know I've, I've been saying we can't stack these I think I might have caused a bit of confusion now I do apologize you can stack them it's just obviously these are eggs and you wouldn't want to put another four pallets of eggs on top of some very fragile eggs but yeah, if you want to Feel free, go as high as you want, but I'm not going to, just because of role-playing reasons. It would just seem weird. So yeah, I apologise for the uh, confusion there. And we can't strap them, because again, if you put straps over them, you would break the eggs. And again, whenever I say we can't strap them, it will hold them in place, so they won't move around, but you can't actually see them being strapped. So anyway place we're going to is halfway up that mountain or hill small mountain and yes the bakery is just over here but it's on the same road now last time I sold to the bakery they seem to have a limit they didn't want to buy everything so the same thing might happen we're just going to have to try it out. They can take whatever they like. But this money is going to be very handy. Okay. So again, yeah, that seems to be all they want to have. Crazy. And it's not worth taking it to the farm shop yet, but it will be soon. So... I wonder, actually, if I leave that trailer there... <laughs> I wonder if they'll just buy them whenever they need them or is it going to keep spamming zero I'll do a test anyway we're going up here I came here a few episodes ago and I wandered in and said oh there must be a collectible around here anyway I'm told that there is one under a tree so let's just scan all the trees see if we can see one do both sides aha there it is first row Agri Pinball DX. Very, very nice. And the next one, this is actually a really nice place. Olive trees, I think. Uh, the next one is just up here. But I don't know where. There is a trebuchet. Which is actually accessed off another road. I don't know where this trebuchet has gone. I have lost it. Um, <laughs> it is here somewhere. There it is. Apparently it's on the trebuchet, so... Well, where would you put it in the... You'd cast pulse it, wouldn't you? It's got to be in there. Oh, yes. That was quite predictable. Uh, but I didn't know it was actually in there until I was told. So, trap... Crop? Does it say... I, I can't actually read that. Trap, crop, or... I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Um, we have now collected £100,000, which I know is very, very easy money. But we need it, and like I said, they don't go on forever. There's only 20 to, to collect, and I've already, I think, collected about 9, possibly, but I've just said. So anyway, we can't buy the McCormick with the money we have here, which is the exact reason why I said we need to sell the voucher. But I agree, it would be a shame, but then I guess we could buy it back again if it comes up used. It is very hard to know what to do for the best. 
Ooh, we actually have loads of grape juice and raisins to sell. And it's actually finished as well. So, I don't know how much we're going to make. But we should get these sold. We might as well. They're not going to be used for any kind of uh, productions now. I don't need to keep these. So let's get the trailer and the forklift. And yes, it's just going to keep spamming zero because it's full. Uh, so I will have to move the trailer out of the way. Yeah, we'll take this over there and we'll load up our products. At the same time, we can sell the lettuce. So here we go. Let's get this opened up. Probably better to open up on the other side. There we go. That's good. I will have to reverse the forklift. So we have space. And yeah, as I've been told many times, we can load up the lettuce crates by hand. Generally, I'm not going to. Just these three. I quite like using the forklift. And also, yeah, I've also been told these are Euro pallets, so we can do three. Three high, three wide. So we can actually get loads into here. And that's what we'll do in the future. Or we could just knock them over. Yeah, let's put them in here. Put those two there. Oh no, it's got stuck to the forklift. There we go. And yeah, as I said, we'll get the uh, egg trailer moved out of the trigger. We'll put it back in when we can hopefully sell some more. There we go. So still plenty of money's worth there. Anyway, back into our lorry. Let's close the curtain. And we'll head over to our grape processing factory. 2,600 litres of lettuce. I, I could actually have taken the uh, tomatoes as well, but I want to get the best price. Yeah, tomatoes aren't good. I really need to get one of those disabled collision cam mods. I'm not too sure if there is one yet for 22, but it was so handy in 19 and all the previous versions, because you know how when you go into a certain position, it zooms in like that. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice not to have that issue. So, um, well, it's not an issue. It is actually part of the game, but I like to disable it. So anyway, yeah, let's get this curtain opened. We'll take the forklift out. We have some secret ramps and we'll get these products loaded up so that'd be good anyway uh, actually no we need to put them into the back the curtain needs to go the other way so if I go onto here we can press U we're currently set to right front we need to go to right back press that again and the curtain will open towards the front so the back is clear very very nice I do like this trailer I'm so pleased that we have this lorry set up Right then, so we've got plenty of space. Some more pallets may well spawn once I've moved them. In fact, they will. We already know they will because we've seen quite a bit registered. Uh, we had so many grapes this time. So what I actually I probably should be stacking them, but what I'll do is I put the grape juice at the front, and we'll put the raisins towards the back. There might only be one crate of raisins, possibly. I don't know, I think there's two. I think there's two. So, I'll continue. 432 litres per pallet. Not bad going at all.
And here we have the final pallet of raisins, which actually again was a thousand litres. When we strapped them into the lorry, we'd be able to see exactly what the total was. As you can see, we do have 65 litres left in here, 292 litres left uh, for grape juice as well. Um, but last time I put these to automatic selling, we might as well. I think the reason why they stay in there is just because there isn't enough to create another pallet. So we'll just get whatever we can for those. Now I think it's the same sell point for all the products. If it is, whoops, <laughs> no, crashed into my own trailer. If it is, then that would be uh, that'd be really good. Just park the forklift over here. So we'll strap in the sweetest raisins and the sweetest taste grape juice. Uh, so yeah, 3,600 litres of lettuce, 3,000 of raisins and 2,160 of grape juice. Pretty good. Right, I'll check the sell point. Grape juice is the farm shop at 3608, very good. Raisins is also the farm shop at 3645 and finally lettuce farm shop at 3434. So very, very good all around. Just let that car go. Um, and I'll try and figure out the best way to go to the farm shop. I think it's just a case of cutting across. Good grief. Rammers. Always ramming me. Yeah, just cut across here. It's so close to here. It's going to be a bumpy ride. But that is our sell point. It couldn't get more local. And then we'll come back, we will get the forklift, and yeah, we'll leave the trailer there. The um the grape trailer. What a big delivery. Uh it'd be quite handy to see in, so we'll watch them sell. Lettuce and grape juice to begin with. And then raisins. Should be quite impressive. £31,094. So eventually, we will be profiting on the grapes. But yeah, uh, as you can see, it takes a great deal of money to begin with. A lot of work. And you don't make a fortune. But they are still fun to do. I understand there are quite a few more collectibles to be found at the castle. So when we become desperate, we'll go over there and try and find them. But I think two is enough for one day. We've done well. So we'll position is back in the yard, ready for filling up again with lettuce and tomatoes throughout the winter. Just put it here. And the forklift will have to come out at some point, but for now, it can stay in. Right, I also will have to do the water as well. Yeah, so... Um, the tractor, we have £198,000. I think that is almost enough, but not quite, I think, which is just typical. 195500 Oh, we can afford it, with no options, though. Although, I don't know if I actually want to have any of these different options. I do tend to go for wide ties. They, they seem good. Um, so, that would be my only preference. We could change the wheel brand. They look good. Yeah, they look really good. Uh, so if I was to go for BKT and Wise, same price. Uh, but just look at that. That would bring the total to 197500 which we can afford, but it's not going to leave a great deal. Ah, yes. I, I don't... This is me. This is my personal preference. I'm not a fan of the special colour. I much prefer it in the standard, but of course the option is there. If you want to have the special, it's certainly exciting to have the special. Uh, but yeah, I just prefer the look of this one. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's buy that. We could go for a different rim colour. Mm, looks all right. I do prefer the grey. Anyway, there we go. We have bought our first tractor, and we're on episode. 
uh, 30-something. So that didn't take long. Well, I say our first tractor. We did buy the Landini. It's our second tractor. Ooh, this looks very futuristic. Oh, yes. Well, this is going to be interesting, and we do need to have... I think we probably should have a custom number plate. But I'm not too sure what it should be. So please do post your suggestions down below. This is so good though, because it means we can run the plant without any issues with weight. The voucher is a bit too light. We have speed. And just generally, we have loads more power. So this is going to be very handy. Oh wow, this is just so nice. It's a bit of a monster as well. It's not even the biggest. Far from it. Better not run over my eggs. Hello, chickens. It's me. You won't recognize me, though. We've come into money. <laughs> We've been finding stuff. Yeah, we're just putting down the collectibles as winning something. It's like the equivalent of winning the lottery. It's just we win on a regular basis. So I guess we should cultivate the field. My cultivator isn't very big. But that doesn't matter too much. It's probably the next thing we're going to buy. If we ever have any money again. I should probably mulch first. We need the plough as well, because I need to be able to plough up the farm track. Let's just put this over here for now. Yes, yeah, so we're going to mulch that cornfield. But as I said, we are most likely not going to be doing anything in these two fields until next year because we've already got the barley in, in the big field, and whatever it is is going to be planted. So uh, I guess that leaves corn, um, or we could do sugar beet. We have to rent a sugar beet harvester. It might be cost effective because it is the, the whole area, the total area is going to be quite large. Uh, but we'll have to see. Anyway, let's turn these lights off. I'm trying to be dramatic. <laughs> there we go. And we will start the mulching. You can see the stalks are disappearing. And I believe it still has the same effect. Doing it on the corn stalks when it's being combined. But you can see it's doing something. It's supposed to add 5% yield. Turn the beacons off too. Now the big field behind us, where the forest now is, that was all mulched in the previous episode, which you might have already seen. So we don't need to do any of that, but we do need to cultivate it all. If we were drilling, we could just get a direct drill, but no, as I just said, we are going to be using our own planter, so I have to cultivate it or plough it. It doesn't need ploughing. We do have periodic ploughing switched off, although it's, it's good to do it the first time. So, yes, we may well sell the cultivator and rent a big one just this first time and then buy a used one when one comes up. Again, it needs a bit of thinking about. But there we go, we're mulching. Adding future yield to the field. And this is a very nice tractor. Very happy with my purchase. And it's not a Matthew Ferguson. I've not gone off them. I'm just trying to add variety. Oh, yes. Okay, right. I will see you when the field is done, which won't be too long from now. And we're done. So yeah, I'm going to take a look now and see how much a bigger cultivator is to rent. Bear in mind we only have £885, I think it was. So cultivators, just here. Um, we'd be looking at probably this one. Yeah, we don't have enough money so it won't tell me. But 
we do have our own so I could just put it on a worker once I've marked out the boundaries this field here will probably have to be done by me because it will get very confused anyway let's fold it up we will get our cultivator but I'm now desperate for some money luckily we do have the chickens eggs if the bakery would buy them which they don't want to well I guess I could go and try and sell them and then if we do sell them I can rent the bigger one and then sell this one or we could just sell this one and try and fund it there we go I managed to sell 66 pounds worth so it looks like it really is a time thing they, they really will not buy more in a certain period of time the farm shop is now offering a good price as well so I might just take these over there and that means I can also put a few more in the back of the pickup truck if they produce any more which they have yeah it would be good to have a bit more money in the bank account instead of just less than a thousand right there we go and the 30 chickens will have produced something but not a great deal Here goes, five and a half thousand pounds for a thousand litres. Looking good. Twenty thousand. Brilliant. So how much was it really then to rent the bigger cultivator? 2,422. Um, that sounds quite expensive. I've had a better idea. We use a disc harrow. We should be able to get one wider. And it should require less power for the same amount of money. This one here came up in the sale. It does require 350 horsepower though. Yeah, so we're going to have to go with this one. That's better value for money. So, into our brand new tractor. Let's take it over to the store. And we shall pick up our new but rented disc harrow. Looking good. As I said, it is expensive renting. It's only a short term solution. As soon as it comes up in the used machinery sale, we'll buy it. So the goal today is just to cultivate the two fields. Tomorrow, we'll plough up the centre. And then, we'll be planting next year. Right, so you can see the disc harrow does have a different texture. I'm really hoping that this is adequate for the plant. I'm sure it will be. Just lightly tickling the surface. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can just do this instead of full, full cultivation. If not, then I'll learn the hard way. But yeah, I believe that shallow cultivation is fine. And our tractor is pulling it no problem at all. Which is really nice to see. So we'll do this and then we'll go over to the other field. Obviously we're not going to go where the forest is. We already have the new texture there. The new forest floor. Hello sheep. They get a good view. But as I said, I'm so happy with my purchase.
we're getting close to completing the field and you'll have noticed how messy it is down here what I need to do in the future is put in a grass strip to neatly divide the forest and the field I just very quickly put in that texture when we were doing the forest because I didn't know exactly where the trees were going to go up to and as it turns out I managed to stay within there except for the grass strip up the side here which also has trees in it but this disc harrow has been great so has the tractor but that's of no surprise it's brand new uh, so yeah uh, we are going to finish the episode around here just need to get every piece uh, as I said pretty pointless doing this piece here but do it anyway that is going to be turned into grass and I can't wait for these trees to go into their next growth stage because it looks so much more dense down here much greener in the summer but since we're running seasons as standard I don't know how long the trees take to grow anymore I believe different varieties take different amounts of time which is nice that's realistic uh, but yes yeah, so I, I would imagine there to be some kind of growth by next summer that would be good anyway so I'll keep the cultivator for now, the disc harrow it will probably be returned but I might be able to find a contract to be able to recover some money just depends how busy we are and of course which contracts are available but there we go, that is it for this video again, I think we have made some good progress we have a new tractor, finally thank you so much for watching everybody hopefully you've enjoyed the video and until next time, see you again soon bye for now